In this video, we're just going to learn some uh, more commands. This, this time, they're going to be dealing with the keyboard. You can learn how to type um, things out, you know, wherever the cursor is. And you can also um, just press uh, some key for, uh, you know, a specific amount of time. And I have already said this in my last video uh, where, I, where we discussed the mouse uh, commands, but if you, uh, if you came from some RuneScape cheating form, I have to warn you not to use the commands I show you here on RuneScape because they will be detected uh, they're not random enough too precise and so just wait until my um, SRL commands video and then we'll just learn some of the SRL ones you can use them on RuneScape for now just um, just learn some of these that you, know, you can use them for I don't know flash game or some other you know way to practice alright let's begin in the second video of the tutorial we learned that SCAR reads the script from top to bottom it starts from begin then you know it finds this command if it looks for commands it finds right line in this case right line and then the right line looks for options that you know we put right here so in, you know in the middle of parentheses here the option is text so you put in text hello jack and right line tells SCAR to write whatever you give it right here in the debug box right here so let's clear and run make sure it works see hello jack that's good now we're going to learn some commands that uh, that tell SCAR to type something or hold down specific keys of the keyboard so let's start with a command called send keys send keys takes one option it's a string which means a text string means text and so let's put some text let's say um, Let's do that. I'm gonna close it. Okay, now let's let's you can it'll type it wherever the cursor is, this blinking this blinking thing right here. So let's let's put it on line seven. Let's run it, see? This is a new line. Type where we tell it. And you know you can do it anywhere you want, just you know, it'll type it. So but what if you want to type uh, or press down a key that isn't isn't um, you know you can't see it like for example if you want to press down backspace or enter or shift or something well you can do that with send keys this command but you have to do something something a little extra what you do is go to help F1 just open it and you should get something in your browser right here your default browser this is the you know scar manual this is a bunch of commands and other things helpful things so go to scroll down until you see this table right here and this table rep is going to give you a bunch of um, a bunch of values that equal each other, like each row is equal. So uh, you see the care column. That's the character that you're gonna that you're gonna use. Um, you know that you want to replace. So see if the you can do a. If you want to press a, you could you know use the decimal form of it. Ninety seven. That's what it means. The, the a in decimal form is not the number ninety seven. So what we need is something right here. We need we need let's do enter return. And so carriage return that means enter, and we look up the decimal form. That's what we need for right now. So just just remember 13 decimal form. So let's go back to the script. So we have a new line here. Now let's let's uh, let's press enter, and to press to convert the decimal to the key, we have to use this command called chr care. So and then you put remember 13 means enter. So what what chr does is it takes whatever you give it, the number here in, in decimal form, it uses the same table right here so it looks up 13 and it sees carriage return so it knows what that means and it passes on to send keys so send keys now knows that you're telling it to press enter because of this okay now let's, let's check something else so you can see it send keys alright now let's do it right here, line 9 See, it it typed. This is a new line. Then it pressed enter, and then it typed this. This is another line. All right. Now we're going to learn how to actually uh, hold down a specific key for a certain amount of time and then release it. If you remember, we did the same thing in the last video with the uh, with the mouse commands. We use hold mouse to hold the mouse some specific. Uh, mouse button, you know, left or right mouse button down for a specific amount of time. And then we, you know, you can do whatever you want. You can move, you can wait, you can type stuff. 
and then later you can release it whenever you need to. So we can do the same thing for keys, but we're going to use a different command called um, key down, command key down for you know pressing down the key, and we're actually going to use something because this is a byte and we can't you know we can't just say you know we can't just say a, it won't work. It'll give you an error. Just try to say a, you know type mismatch because a isn't isn't a byte. So we have to we have to give give this command a byte, and to do that, we use a different command called get key code. And this time, we can use a character. So let's do a. And so get key code is kind of like see the chr one, except it's backwards. It looks up it looks up what a what a means in some table. You know, I don't actually know where this table is, but it looks it up, and it returns it it returns it as a specific byte number. So so it gives this as a byte. Now let's wait a little bit. Let's wait one second. Remember, ten, a thousand milliseconds is one second. So a thousand milliseconds. Wait one second. And now we do the same thing, but key key up, key up. You know, releases the key. So and we do the same thing. Get key code. A. All right. So let's try it. See. All right. And you can see when it stops when it exit when it says successfully executed it means that it stopped. I don't know why it would you know keep typing it, but it did hold it down, you can trust me there. Alright, and as actually, you can also use uh, the CHR here, instead of the character you can do the same thing, remember the, the decimal thing? So, like first we use the CHR, like if we want to press enter, do CHR, so you get key code, well, so you read it backwards, you say this, the CHR13 returns the uh, string form, like the text of whatever ch of whatever the thirteen represents, which is enter. So it gives a text form of enter, and then this command takes the text form of enter and it converts it into the byte, the byte, because this is this accepts byte, so it converts it into the byte form of enter. It's kind of complicated, but don't worry about it for now. We'll you know we'll learn a little more about that later. So and just do the same thing here. Just you know, control C, copy, control V, paste. All right, and just run it. It's the same thing, you know. All right, it's actually executed. And there's actually one more way you can do it. It's probably a little easier. You can use something called VK uh, constants. What you do is you type VK underscore, and then you hold Control and you press Space. And when you do that, you get all these different um, possibilities for the VK constants. And these are kind of like uh, like specific special uh, words that represent different keys. So you know, then they're they're usually you know the, the the odd keys like the F keys, the the different you know home help those kind of keys. You can use you can use this. So just select one. Let's do add. It's simple. And same thing. Just copy paste it. All right. Let's run it. So you use the plus sign. All right. So that's the other way to do it. And remember that these aren't all the commands. They're actually way more. If you go to help F1, you know you get this window right here again, and you scroll all the way down until you see uh, keyboard functions, or you can you know control F to find it. Keyboard functions. All right, see so keyboard functions, and actually mouse and keyboard under this section. So just scroll down until you get to the keyboard section, and see it starts right here with send keys. That's the first one we learned. Send keys. And it, there's just the option for it, the string. Some have more than one. See, this one has more than one. And it tells you what they are. See, the, the text, this is, the first one's a string. That means it's text. And the, these two, one, two, are integers. So they're numbers. So you'd, you'd put like a string, a text, then a comma, a number, comma, number, and then close it. That's what that means. We'll learn a little more about that later. For now, you know, just know that you can do that. And, um... So these are different ones, and you can read the description. Some of them, you know, you might like some of them a little better than the ones we learned, which I just didn't go in depth into depth with some of these because they're more, you know, specific, more specialized. So there's all these different ones. Um, just look through them. You can use them for practice or whatever. And that's about it. It wraps up this video. I hope you found some of this interesting. Maybe you can, you know, practice a little bit with it, learn, learn some more different ones that you can use. And next video, we're, we're going to go a little further. So join me then.